Hello and welcome to this week's lessons on English collocations. My name is Michael. I am a qualified IELTS examiner and I would very much like to help you get a high score in your IELTS speaking, writing, reading and listening tests. If you would like a private lesson with me, you can contact me on Skype, Kakao Talk or WhatsApp and the information is on the screen now. So what are collocations? Collocations are a natural combination of words and we will look at many of them during these lessons. And it refers to the way English words are closely associated with each other. You can find this textbook, English Collocations in Use, from Cambridge University Press, in the description of this video. Just click the link and you will be taken to the Cambridge website where you can buy the textbook. I highly recommend it. You can also get it from your local library. So let's have a look at why collocations are important. Well, first of all, they help us speak and write English in a natural and accurate way. They increase our range of vocabulary and they are part of the IELTS speaking and writing tests. If you want to get a band 7, band 8 or a band 9 in your IELTS speaking, you must use collocations. So let's follow on from last week's lesson where we looked at the grammatical categories of collocations and let's look at adjectives plus a noun. Here is an example of an adjective plus a noun collocation. This is not an idle threat. I will call the police if this happens again. Idle is the adjective, noun is the threat. Sorry, threat is the noun. That means a simple threat. An idle threat means you might not do it. Another example is, he waited in the vain hope that the minister would meet him. Vain is the adjective, hope is the noun, and vain hope means unlikely to be fulfilled, and unlikely to be, un to be fulfilled hope. So it probably won't happen. Next one is, there is mounting concern over the decision. You can say mounting concern, mounting criticism, or mounting fury. And it just means that there's growing concern, growing criticism, or growing fury. And finally, the simple truth is that no one was aware of the problem. You can also say the plain truth. So it's obvious. So those were our adjectives and nouns. Let's now look at adverbs and adjectives. The article provides an intensely personal account of the writer's relationship with his sons. Intensely is the adverb and personal is the adjective. It means very personal. Joe's sister was a stunningly attractive woman. Stunningly is the adverb adjective is attractive. That means very attractive. Okay, let's have a look at the verb plus adverb or prepositional phrase. The teenager tried to persuade his mother that he was innocent, but he failed miserably. That means he failed badly. I don't like to travel with my brother because he drives recklessly. That means he drives wildly or without care. As soon as the singer came on stage, she burst into song. That means she started to sing. And finally, if your dog starts to foam at the mouth, you should take it to the vet. Foam at the mouth is a little bit difficult for me to explain, so let me show you some pictures. This is a dog that's foaming at his mouth, and this is okay, it, it doesn't look very dangerous, but sometimes if a dog gets rabies, it could look like that. That's when you should take your dog to the vet. But also, foam at the mouth, you can also use that to describe a person. And this is an idiom. If somebody is foaming at the mouth, it means they are very angry. OK, so let's have a look at some more grammatical categories. And these are more complex collocations. 
Mary was looking forward to retiring and taking it easy for a while. That means have a rest for a period of time. It's time you put the past behind you and started focusing on the future. That means you should forget about the past and think about the future. So let's review the collocations we have looked at today. First one we saw was idle threat, vain hope, mounting concern, mounting criticism, mounting fury, simple truth, or plain truth, intensely personal, stunningly attractive, failed miserably, drives recklessly, burst into song, foam at the mouth, taking it easy for a while, and put the past behind you. Thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. Please subscribe to the channel and if you would like private lessons, you can contact me on Skype, Kakao Talk or WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Stay safe, stay healthy, study English and stay tuned. Thank you. Goodbye.